Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Thursday, and all today's guests, including Amar Doman of the Lions, standing by, brought to you by the Vancouver Giants. Giants just announced their home opener. It will be Friday, September 20th against Seattle at 7 p.m. Season ticket packages are now on sale. All season ticket packages now include access to WHL Live so you never miss a game, as well as the first two home playoff games, plus flexible payment plans available with no additional costs. For more info, email sales at VancouverGiants.com or call 604-4-GIANTS. The Lions 0-1-1 uh, play their home opener Saturday at BC Place against Calgary with 50 Cent, Rick. Oh, Working the concert kickoff. And joining us uh, now, BC Lions owner, Amar Doman. Amar, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Hey, I'm great, guys. Thanks for having me on. No problem. I think I asked you this uh, last year when it came to LL Cool J. But how does someone go about booking 50 Cent? How difficult <laughs> is that? Yeah, it's it's a minefield uh, to try to get to some of these A-list entertainers. But, you know, we nailed it here. Um, you know, the fans, uh, it's been overwhelming. And, and also the whole football uh, community is just very excited. So I think we've uh, put one over the uh, over the fence, to use a baseball term. But, um, you know, I think it's going to be a fantastic Saturday, not only for the show, but what a great way to just showcase the start of our CFL season here in BC. Do you have any idea what Curtis Jackson, what 50 Cent is like to deal with? Uh, yeah, I do. And, uh, to be honest, he, th their whole group has been amazing and, and it's some of the, uh, the promoters and stuff that came from LL. So we're now a known entity out here, which is nice. So they know it's nice. a good place to play. It's exciting. And, you know, frankly, they, they've just been first class. Yeah. He's, I, I think in my, in my opinion, one of the best talk show guests uh, out there, he's a really interesting person, obviously a great entertainer. And then you have this, uh, Amar, how much do you have to do with getting the Jonas brothers to come to the gray cup in Vancouver in November? Yeah. You know, I, as I've been saying, you know, getting the youth back into the CFL and the biggest show being the gray cup and us being fortunate to host it this year, we wanted to touch that youth and really bring in something that will also attract, you know, the parents, kids to come in and, the response there, I think we're through 41,000 tickets sold already, which is unheard of this early for a Grey Cup. Fantastic. And Jonas Brothers, you know, at halftime. So really, you know, jazzing up the CFL a little bit. Obviously, the focus is on football, number one. But, you know, let's make it more entertaining. And I'm trying to bring in the best ideas I can, the best acts, uh, you know, against into, uh, you know, the CFL, which is just first class. It deserves this. And when you talk about the best acts, uh, Amar, uh, any chance uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive will be playing <laughs> uh, a game soon? And Rick would like to see Billy Joel. Any, any anything yeah, like that happening yeah. for the old guys? Billy Idol. Look, I'm part of that that old guys group. I know BTO. I've got some uh, records, 33s okay. of those bands, and and yeah, you never know. We we might mix it up a little bit here or there, or surprise <laughs> something during the season. But uh, we want everybody happy. But you know, just want people to come see the BC Lions. All right. Do you have a ticket update for the opener, uh, Amar? Where are you? How many left? Uh, because this is obviously going to be over 50,000. Uh, wh what's the number at right now? Yeah, so if you go to look now, um, I think we're at 51. We're going to make CFL history for an opener. There's no question. And there's just some singles left. I think there's some resales up in the upper bowl. Uh, down below, we released a few more behind the stage because we pushed the stage onto the field. So I think the, the, that's opened up a couple of those tarp sections. Uh, so those are available. And some field passes if you want to go down and get up and close with uh, Fiddy there before the show. Uh, those are open. But, you know, call it, uh, you know, we're, we're hoping in the next day we can call it a true sellout, which is, uh, you know, something that's obviously a goal of ours to do. But, man, we've got a big crowd. I want to thank the fans for showing up. Okay, uh, forget about all the bands for a second. This yeah. is about your football team, and, and when you took over, season ticket uh, numbers weren't great. You're trying to build year after year. Are you getting there in terms yeah. of what you want to do for this football team? Yeah, I've got to say our ticketing department, led by Dwayne and, and Colby and, and those guys, they're doing a great job. And, you know, really, we, we're up again. I think we're up 30%. I can't give you the numbers, but I can tell you they're starting to get into the serious zone where we're going to have a nice base in that lower bowl. That's what we're after. And getting it loud every game. So, you know, hey, year by year, we're improving. Uh, we're ahead of our plan. 
So I'm very, very happy. And I just want to say thanks for the fans for showing up. And, you know, if you can come to nine games a year and, and have a lot of fun with us, uh, listen, why not? And the Lions are, are looking sharp. We're going to be fine. One thing you, you did uh, last year that impressed a lot of people, you, you got the ferries and the people from Vancouver Island, you helped them out. I think you even did something for the people out in the Valley. How important uh, to help these people out uh, that are coming from far away for a Lions game? Well, you know, it is the BC Lions. You've heard me say that. It's not the Vancouver Lions. So we've got a lot of fans that are spread out on the island, as we talked about, where I'm from as well. And, you know, certainly looking at uh, those strategies, bringing more people in on buses at our cost, come into the game, you know, just get on the ferry and it, we'll, we'll take care of the rest. We'll bring you to the game and bring you back. And those things are working. And, you know, really the four o'clock games, as we talked about, I think, uh, yep. I think, Rick, you were, you're a little skeptical on those, but you know, <laughs> we'll work it in the summertime and, and we have one seven o'clock game next Thursday yep. uh, against Edmonton here on a Thursday night game before the long weekend. Cause I think a long weekend, four o'clock, you know, a lot of people are busy. So to have that Thursday night game is key for us here at night, but the rest of the summer games will be at four o'clock and I think they've been well received. How tough is it, Amar, for you as an owner and you're passionate uh, to watch a game uh, like last week's in, in Toronto where the Lions didn't live up to expectations? Yeah, it was, it was painful, I think, more for the team. Um, everybody, I think, just, uh, look, Toronto showed up. you got to give them credit. Uh, they were walking through and pressuring VA. And, you know, VA looked sharp when he had the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to be just fine. I think this team is great. There's some new players there. That's always a change. A couple of our wide receivers aren't there right now. So they got to get into their groove, too. No excuses. Uh, we were in that game, and we were leading pretty good in that one tipped ball. As you know, everything can yep. just change in football. And we are up 20 to 6, and we're ready to go to the house again. And a tip ball interception and then here we go the other way the momentum changed but uh got to give dukes credit that young quarterback he looked really good for toronto and kind of picked up where kelly left off well, I, I, um we had randy ambrosi in studio uh last week and we asked him about this united football league just your your, your thoughts on it i i don't they're in the middle of their playoffs i don't, yeah. I don't, even, I don't even know i'm, I'm not are. paying attention but how much of a threat is that to the cfl <laughs> Yeah, I've talked about those uh, sort of fledgling leagues in the U.S. before and over the years, even before, you know, we became the owners of the Lions. You know, they're, it's just a matter before they're dead. You know, mm -hmm. you just can't compete against the NFL. Uh, kudos on them giving it a shot, but it's a money pit, um, and it'll continue to be a money pit. I mean, you've got The Rock trying to get it going, and if he can't get it going, no one can. The, the crowds are small. They folded the team into, I think, half the amount of teams they yep. had when both leagues were going, right? So, you know, I, I don't want to be negative about it. It's just not a, you know, people are getting tired after all the college, all the NFL down there, and then they start this spring league. Maybe it's a feeder league to the NFL if someone wants to fund it. Uh, that's maybe more what it is. But I, I don't think, uh, to answer your question, um, I don't see it being a threat at all to the CFL. Yeah, and where I was going with that is the CFL keeps plugging away well over 100 yeah. years. Is it in good shape right now, Amar? It's in the best shape it's been in years. And, and of course, you know, Edmonton's struggling a bit. You know, I think we'll see an ownership change there. Hopefully by the end of the year, it will go private, we believe. I think that's good for uh, the Elks. And, uh, you know, otherwise the ownership level, the engagement, uh, everything is going, the, the sponsorship and the fan base and the viewership is going back up in the right direction. So uh, got to say we're very pleased with what's going on with the CFL. And I think with, uh, you know, guys like myself and the new owner in Quebec as well, we're just going to keep pushing forward. All right, Amar. And uh, before we let you go, great job answering the question about tickets from, from Rick because there was a, he had a hidden agenda there. So great, great job on, <laughs> on answering the, uh, that question. All, all the best. Everybody's talking about the Lions, Amar. Yeah. Uh, we, we can't wait for, uh, for the weekend. Thanks so much. Thanks very much, guys. Go Lions. You bet.